Hello my darling friends, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Combined. And what you're seeing right now is there because I found a new world for our sims to live in. It's smaller, but it looks interesting, and it'll definitely, probably, hopefully run better. Um, I did a little bit of research to kind of see what people liked, and this one was brought up a lot on the um, mod The Sims forums, saying that people really liked it. So should have no problem running on my computer for sure so we're gonna do it we're just gonna move I figure this is a combined LP so you know I'm not obligated to stay in any town let's just move around find some towns we like so there are new towns available for your sims to live in you can always perform a long distance move at a later time blah 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 would you like to move why yes yes we would um let's go it's Evansdale County created by my sim reality I have not opened this yet I have no idea if it's going to I have no idea I have no idea what to expect so you'll be getting my first reaction um, your sim family is preparing to move to a new town uprooting them for this long distance move will cause all normal wishes opportunities and relationships to be lost oh boo um, okay, they may also lose their job. That's okay. That's okay. Um, yes, I've never moved to a new town, actually, since they released this with that patch. So, yeah, let's do it. Recommend that you save your game. Okay. Save. Um, so, oh, okay, I was like, is it gonna, is it gonna make us go or what? So yeah, we're, we're just doing it, pulling the trigger and we are going. Um, I am tired of Connie, what's her face, getting stuck every three seconds. I love this world. Uh, maybe we'll come back to it for something. Um, I'll have to see if maybe there's an updated version or something or figure out how to get rid of stupid Connie and get her out of my face. So, in other news, um, I don't think I have other news. Uh, well, I mean, everyone knows the news, so it's not really news anymore, but the new Sims 3 Store World, is it Midnight Hollow? Yeah? Midnight Hollow? I think so. I always get Midnight and Moonlight mixed up like I just did. I said Mid- Mid- Moon- whatever. Anyway, Moonlight Hollow um, looks pretty awesome and you know I never really played around with Supernatural much because I thought Moonlight Falls was kind of lame. It was a little too Twilighty for me, you know, with the Cullens and Bella Swan and their little doppelgangers in there and you know the world just didn't really appeal to me that much it's a nice world but eh, eh I was bored with it and I don't know I kind of bought it on a whim because I buy everything that EA puts out even if I don't want it because I have a problem I have an EA shopping problem I have bought so much crap that I don't want and I don't even use because I just feel like I have to I don't know. I think there's like some mind control going on somewhere. But, um, yeah. So why aren't we moving? I'm very confused. Um, I'll just leave that there for a minute and see what happens. But yeah, I'm excited about Moon, Moon, Mid, Midnight Valley, Midnight Hollow, whatever. The new store world. And I think I'll probably end up doing like a small, because here's the thing, the Midnight Hollow comes out in like a week, two weeks, the 26th of September, and then Into the Future comes out like a month after that. I've still got this LP, I've got the Midnight Sun Challenge. Um, I don't know. I re I'm definitely going to play in it, 
I might make it my current household and then do like a current household mini series on that with some supernatural sims. Why aren't they moving? So yeah, anyway, that was another ramble. Um, we'll see. But I'm excited about it. I'm not excited about the price as usual because they're ridiculous. But Um, okay, I don't know how this works. Do they all have to wake up first, or what happens? Never, never moved to a new town before, so I really don't know what to do. Oh, yep. Well. Apparently the game couldn't wake them up for me, like they do all the time at really annoying times. So, here we are. We are leaving. Maybe on a jet plane. Not sure. Um, so yeah. Let me know what your first impression is on the world. If you like it. If you're planning to get it. If you think it's ridiculously expensive like everything else that EA ever makes. I mean, don't get me wrong. The worlds are great. But I feel like paying... Maybe this one's worth it because... It comes with like open for business stuff, but typically paying $43 is what it is US dollars, full price. I don't know what the sale price is going to be, but $43.50 for a world, that's more than an expansion pack, which usually comes with a world and new gameplay, which is why I'm excusing Midnight Hollow because it's a world. It's coming with new gameplay. It's actually coming with a fair amount of items. Still not quite worth it. I mean, I think $30 tops for the gold version is more than enough. I don't know. Either that or they need to like, I, I don't know, $43? And I can never just buy the normal version because then I'll just want all the stuff I don't have that came with the gold version. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I have a video game shopping problem. It's a tough life to have. Although it really hurts because I've got that coming out after I just bought movie stuff, which again, I really didn't even want, but I bought it anyway. So I had movie stuff, and then we have the new world, and then we're going to have Into the Future, and then probably a new store set right around that time because that's how they always do things because they didn't already take enough of my money. And then there will be, I don't know what else, something. And then I have a trip the beginning of November, my wedding anniversary that same weekend. And then I have the PlayStation 4 coming out. And then my phone plans up so I'm getting the new iPhone and the world just wants me to be poor for the rest of the year. And that was quite a rant. I apologize for that. Anyway, before I keep going, I'm going to stop this until the world loads up and I'll bring it back as soon as it does the fly-in thing. Be right back. Alright, so here we are. Apparently there is no fly-in thingy ma bobber. Oh, it has a return to previous sound button. Um, so, oh, this is pretty. And it did say it came with the Monta Vista lighting, which is another thing that really drew me to it because I love Monta Vista. I'm Italian, obviously. It's beautiful. And yeah, I thought this would be beautiful. So, rambling on, let's find a house, shall we? Well, we don't want to be on an island. I don't really want to mess with boats just yet. Oh, and this town has been updated to work with Island Paradise. Um, I think it might have a dive spot or two. I'm not sure. I love the color of the water. It's beautiful. Holy moly. Alright. Um, so yeah, it has a little city area over here, which is really nice. I like it when people make worlds with a duel. That, that was my biggest issue with Bridgeport, is that it was just city and there was no like suburb area. So that's what you have. You have the city here, and then you have 
the little suburbs over here. And then even further out, you have some nice farmland. So that'll be nice to deal with, you know, maybe in a, you know, next generation or something, we can come over here and, uh, you know, so maybe they'll want to start a farm. So there's uh, ports for houseboats and all of that fun thing stuff. So now the question is, where do we want to live? Now, we are going to end up kicking Marisol out. I moved her here with us because I didn't want her child to grow up without her mother around, his mother around. So I moved her with us, but she is going to be getting her own place. So we're really just looking for enough room for the three of them without Marisol. So uh what just happened okay okay um let's look at some of the houses here this might end up being more of a little quick little world overview um so you guys can see it's probably going to be a little bit rough for the first few minutes while it's loading up but that way you guys can see what this world's like and if you're interested download it it doesn't seem like it's too big of a world so if you don't have the best computer it should still run fine um so here we have this cute little apartment it does look like it's two bedroom which is nice um the only problem i'm seeing is that all these plants probably not going to be able to see what you're doing but the landscaping and everything's beautiful. Married student housing. Oh, this is kind of cute. Let's see what this looks like. So this would be like if you go to school and you have, um, you know, the little student apartments on campus. I mean, these all three right next to each other are adorable. Like, I, I love them. And this little thingy-majig here. I don't know what any of this is, but I'm really liking it so far. Alright, so we have upstairs a bedroom, bathroom, and a little office space. And then downstairs, the same thing. So this would be set up like apartment style, but I'm assuming we could cancel the roommates. I mean, because this is just, this is beautiful. It looks like it's got enough space. I mean, uh, we have a second ba bedroom for kids. We can get rid of all this stuff. And what's downstairs? Downstairs we have a garage that we could turn into like a playroom. And then this cute little backyard. This is adorable. Um... Okay, so this one would be almost all of our money. Let's see what the cheaper one looks like. Because again, we're not going to be having roommates. So, um, we might be able to get away with the smaller version. Okay. So yeah, this one actually has two rooms upstairs. Well, I mean, it's laid out exactly the same. But, um... All right, so these are a definite possibility. Definite possibility. I like those. They're right in the center of everything without being in an apartment. A high rise. Um, can't afford a penthouse. One bedroom, one bathroom. All right. So those are definite option. And then let's go see what we have out here for houses. Um, one stall attached garage, one bedroom, one bath. Um, mm, it's not going to be enough space. What do we have here? Two bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms. Let's see what this one looks like. cute little suburban home. Reminds me of the one we lived in in New Sunset Valley. Um, we've got 
one bedroom. This could be a second bedroom for Marshall. One and a half bath. Um, hmm. It's nice. It's nice. I don't really love it, but I don't really hate it. It's this one. One bedroom, one bath. Well, we're going to have a hard time finding anything decently big. Because, I mean, we don't have a ton of money. Beach house with two bedrooms and a full bath. Okay. We did bring all of our furniture, too, so we'll be buying them unfurnished. This is kind of nice. A uh, big this big one bedroom. Uh, kids room, living room, office. And it's on the beach. I mean, what more could you want? I don't know though. I really want to play. I really like these little apartment thingies. Let's check out this one last one. I think it'll end up being the same, but I just want to be sure. Because I don't want to do a whole lot of moving about here. So we've got the same kind of idea. Alright. So I think we'll go with... This one gives us the most money unfurnished. Why? Okay, I'm going to decide between the two, and then I will be right back. Alright, and we are back, and I actually lied. Um, I ended up going with this beach house because it turns out that those townhome things are actually set up very much like apartments. So... Um, yeah, it wouldn't have worked out. So I went with the beach house, and I'm actually glad I did. It's really, really nice house for a starter home. Um, so I went in, and I didn't change too much. Um, I put in some of our older furniture that was a little bit nicer than what came in here. Um, I had a little bit of money left over, so I upgraded the TV and got a car. Um, but yeah, everything else is pretty much the same as it was. I realized after furnishing it, though, that there was no place to sit and eat. So, um, for now, the table and stuff is outside, but that's fine. Not a big deal. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know how it's gonna work. But now we get the joy of kicking out, um what's her face because no one likes her so we want to kick her out oh no why can't we bring him back wait a second cancel uh we need to have her do it move no one likes you all right kick her out see ya Adios, dear Marisol. It's been swell. I'm sure we'll see your bitchy ass around. So yeah, this is our new household now. Um, I'm excited to see how it goes. See what this town's all about. Aw, little Marshall. All right, uh, let's accept our gifts here. Before I forget, thank you to everyone who sent me gifts. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Um, I almost always give back, and if I don't, it's just because I forgot. So I apologize for that. But yes, and this is from my lovely Miss Sim Sugar, 
or Laura, and I got 2,000 simoleons from this, so that's awesome, and I'm obviously going to gift her back. So, yeah, that was a great gift. Thank you guys for that. Received a Banky's, Bank, Banky's Street Art Kit. Yep. Alright. So thank you for the gifts. Much appreciated. $2,000 richer right now. Oh, water balloon fight. <laughs> um, so, with that, um, yeah, they've got their jobs. They've got everything. Everything all settled, really. Um, yeah. I'm excited. This new world looks fun. It definitely seems to be working well. So with that, I do think this part has probably gone on long enough with moving. Um, hate to do this to you, but <laughs> I am going to stop this here and be able to pick up fresh next part with the gameplay in Evan. What the heck is this town called again? Evansdale County? Yes. Gosh, I am terrible with names. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of what you've seen from the town so far, and I'll put the link for it in the description. So, I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you next time.